show on back in part four. All right. Watch out. Be the stability of thy time. Let's continue here. All right. Talking about wisdom, wisdom of Solomon. For she is the breath. All right. And the Lord refers to wisdom as a she or her. In other words, as a woman, much as he refers to the nation of Israel as a woman as well. All right. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High, talking about wisdom and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall upon her. See that? Just like when you read in uh, Revelations, the 14th chapter, around the fifth verse, and it says, uh, and they were not defiled with women, meaning that the elect of Israelites were not defiled by any philosophies, okay? You know, uh, man's deceits, the rudiments of the world, okay? Do you understand that? By man-made religious ideologies, philosophies, you know, like Egyptology, okay? That Kemet BS, all right? You people need to grow up. You're, you're not Hamites, okay? And you're not African Americans, okay? You're Israelites, all right? So get with the program, all right? Anyway, for she is the brightness of everlasting light, talking about wisdom, the unspotted mirror, the power of the Most High, and the image of His goodness. And being but one, she can do all things, all right? Talking about wisdom, and remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. See that? That's what wisdom does. It all starts with the renewing of your minds, right? Romans 12 and 2. And in all ages, entering into the holy souls, she maketh them friends of the Most High and prophets. See that? All right? And I quoted this earlier. For the Most High loveth none but him that dwelleth in wisdom. There you go. All right? For she is more beautiful than the sun, and above all the order of stars, being compared with the light, she is found before it. For after this cometh night, but vice shall not prevail against wisdom. You see that? You understand, people? You get it? All right. Let's, uh, let's move on. Let's jump to Proverbs. Give me a minute. Okay, Proverbs 1 through 7. The Proverbs of Solomon. The son of David, all right, king of Israel, all right, and like I said, we're going to close out with uh, in two chronicles, you know, the first chapter, seven through twelve, all right, and uh, you know, probably I'll do that right after we get done, you know, with this, or maybe I'll give you a few more. We'll see. All right. Uh, verse 2, to know the wisdom and instruction, to perceive words of understanding. We looked that word up in the blue letter. You people know what that means. All right. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. And that's what we're doing. Okay, receiving that. Again, we're being prepared for the kingdom. We're going to be, uh, you know, the immortal God, kings, and priests of the earth. All right? When we receive those new bodies. All right? Because, again, it's not these bodies that are taken up into the clouds, which is a metaphor, you know, for the chariots, you know, the UFOs. All right? That's what Esau calls them or UAPs. But those are the chariots of the Lord. And it's not these bodies. These bodies are not taken up. It's our spirit that are taken up all right, by the angels to receive our new bodies, and then within a twinkling of an eye, we shall all be changed. Do you understand? All right. All right. To give stability to the simple, all right? To the young man, knowledge and discretion, all right? These are, these are all the things, like a lesson what I'm doing right now, all right? A wise man will hear and will increase. See, a wise man will hear and will increase. You see that? So he'd have to be wise first. In other words, he has to take heed to the word. He has to be able 
to hear. And that word hear goes into understanding. Okay, so he has to be able to understand, to have what? To perceive, to have insight, to have discernment. All right? So a wise man will hear, okay, and will increase his learning. See? All right, and a natural man is not going to have that. He'd have to be spiritual, right? And we already covered that. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Who's more wiser than the Most High, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai? What better counsel? Okay? And that's where we dwell. And again, an example of that. Give me a minute. See? Psalm 65 and 4. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest, right? Whom the Most High has chosen. And I already told you how that works. You were chosen as spirits, you know, certain men in Israel, amongst Israel, all right? Certain were chosen, okay, to be sanctified, okay? To be made separate from the rest of mankind. This was ordained where? In the heaven before the foundation of the world, okay? When you were spirits. And he causeth to approach unto thee that he may dwell in thy courts. In whose courts? The most high's courts, you see? And we shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house. What's the goodness of thy house? The mercy that he has shown us by giving us this truth, wisdom, knowledge, understanding of these scriptures. All right? Even thy holy temple. There you go. All right? Let's get back. Give me a minute. All right, I don't want to spend that much time, you know, uh, much longer. I mean, there are many precepts I can give you people, all right? So, but, uh, all right, uh, I'm going to cut it short, all right? So, this is going to be the close out. There's two chronicles, all right? I told you this earlier, all right? We we're going to close with this. This is when God appears unto Solomon, all right? Uh, and asks, what shall I give thee? All right, and I love this uh, passage here. So in that night, God appeared unto Solomon and said unto him, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said unto the Most High, Thou hast showed great mercy unto David my father, right? And has made me to reign in his stead, right? Uh, now, O Lord God, O Lord Yahweh, God power, let thy promise unto David, my father, be established. For thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the earth in multitude. See that? Which is too numerous to number. Give me now wisdom and knowledge. See what he's asking for? Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people. For who can judge this people that is so great? Verse 11, and the Most High said unto Solomon, because this was in thy heart, right, in his mind, right, thou hast not asked for riches, he didn't ask for wealth, nor honor, nor the life of thy enemies, right, neither yet has asked for long life, but has asked for wisdom and knowledge for thyself that thou mayest judge my people 
over whom I have made thee king. Verse 12, to close out, wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee. See that? Let's continue. And I will give thee riches and wealth. These are things he didn't ask for. And honor, such as none of the kings, right, have had that have been before thee. See that? So he got all these things by just simply asking for wisdom and knowledge. All right? And all these other things were given unto him. Neither shall any after have the light. See? There you go. All right, people. I think you guys get the point. All right? How important, all right, wisdom and knowledge is. Again, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. What times? These times. You're living in the latter time. Okay? You're living at the end of Esau's reign. Okay? You're witnessing the fall of your enemies. All right? For you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? You're witnessing the fall of your oppressors. Okay? And again, he was set up by the Lord as a fulfillment of prophecy to do that because we are the ones who fell away and broke the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, it's just a fulfillment of prophecy, people. All right? That's all it was. But again, only a remnant shall return. All right? Because only a remnant's going to hear this word. All right? And repent and come back onto the Most High, as you read in Isaiah, the 10th chapter. All right? All right, people. I believe you people get the point. Hopefully you were edified. I'm out. I'm out to the next one. Shalom.